columns. Find the volume. Now it looks like my objects here are what we call rectangular prisms, so rectangular solids. So I recall that my formula for the volume of a rectangular solid is length times width times height. I'll even be nice to the sciencey people here and keep my units with me. Okay, so we have a volume problem. First one on the left has a length of three feet, a width of seven feet, and a height of ten feet. Three times seven is twenty-one. Twenty-one times ten is two hundred and ten and foot times foot times foot would be feet cubed. So the answer here is 210 feet cubed. Next one, we have a volume here, and this one's in good old metric system finally. So now we have 2 meters, 10 meters, and 3 meters. 2 times 10 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, and m times m times m is going to be cubic meters. So this one is 60 cubic meters. Okay, why don't you try to do one on your own here? Let's move over to this cube. Okay, perfect cube here, all the sides are the same. So assuming you paused the video and tried it out on your own, recall that the video, the, the video, <laughs> the volume is length times width times height. So in this context it's going to be 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5, 5 quarters would be worth a buck 25. And centimeter, centimeter, centimeter yields the units called cubic centimeters. So there's our final answer.